more trig derivatives and the complexity keeps going up. Now we have our function is sine x times cosine x. So it's a product, which means the derivative is going to be going to require the product rule. We have to do first d second. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is first d second plus second, which is cosine x, d first. And the derivative of the first derivative of sine is cosine. So if we combine these, we have sine times negative sine comes out to negative sine squared x plus cosine squared x. I think there's a trig identity that would combine these into something nice, but it, I don't remember what it is right this second, so I'm just going to muddle on without it. If you remember what it is, well done. I'm just going to work with this. They say they want the slope when x is pi by 3, which means when x is 60 degrees. So what we have here is minus the sine of 60, all squared, plus the cosine of 60, all squared. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2 and then you square it. Cosine 60 is 1 half. have to square that also. And so we get, this will be minus 3 quarters for the first section, plus half squared is 1 quarter for the second section. So we get minus 2 over 4 equals minus 1 half.